Hi, this is Dick Rochfort, pilot trainer for the Piper PA-46 line of uh, aircraft. And uh, today uh, I wanted to discuss setting up an unpublished hold with the, uh, the new Garmin GTN series 650 uh, navigator. And you may know the 750 is uh, very similar. So if you happen to have a 750, this will work as well. Um, and uh, I've had a lot of requests on this subject. Uh, an automated uh, navigator like this with uh, integrated WAS is uh, nice to have. But uh, uh, here's one case where uh, the automation won't necessarily help you. Now let's begin by reviewing uh, the hold. In this case, the aircraft is located uh, just uh, just west of the Hertz intersection. I have the map here in the track up mode. So our track is 106, or roughly eastbound. And uh, we're on our way to Hertz. And uh, ordinarily, the, the turn would be made outside of Hertz uh, to fly back to the, the Baltimore uh, BWI airport. But in this case, uh, the controller calls and asks you, uh, tells you it has amendment to your clearance, advise, rate a copy, and you take out a clean sheet of paper and announce that you're ready to copy, and he says he wants you to hold. Well, the first thing when you, you hear the word hold, uh, first thing I want you to do is uh, uh, draw a triangle on a piece of paper. You know, right in the middle and then select a north up orientation and it could be anywhere but mm, something like that and he says hold east of the Hertz intersection so just draw a line out to the east and we know it's Hertz because there it is on the map down there <clears throat> that cardinal direction represents the inbound course of the hold now let me say that again because that's important after you draw the fix and he says hold east, that line represents the inbound course. He isn't going to say that, but you have to know that. So just by default then, put the arrowhead on there. Now, if the outbound is uh, uh, 100, then the inbound course will be 280. So if, if, if the radial, if he says hold on the one hundred degree radial of Hertz that effectively is a 2.8 inbound and if you can't get the math right don't worry about it uh, we'll just uh, deal with that as as we uh, as we need to so let's just write it down now the next thing you're going to hear is um, uh, the altitude and uh, he may say maintain 3,000 expect for the clearance 10 minutes after the hour so now we've written down the main information. He didn't say which way to turn, so I've already begun. We'll just go ahead and, and draw, draw the hold this way. Now the, the location of the aircraft is the next thing to consider, um, but once the hold is drawn, it's, it's pretty easy. We're going to take that piece of paper and orient it like the map. And in this case, we're, uh, we're on our way to Hertz. Just one word of caution of, about using a fix that's already in your flight plan for an unpublished hold. Um, mostly uh, Garmin likes to sequence after it gets to a fix. So if you go, uh, if you use the OBS feature, uh, in this case you'll get a suspend mode which will uh, come out of suspend when you cross the fix. Now that's a fancy way of saying don't uh, don't use Hertz in the flight plan. So here's here's Hertz in the flight plan. If if we do use Hertz in the flight plan, it'll still take us to Hertz. But uh, as soon as we set up the OBS after crossing the fix, the uh, the Garmin will sequence to the next thing in the flight plan, which in this case is the Jerdy intersection, and that's not what we want. So always go down to the bottom of the of the flight plan and put the waypoint in at the bottom. Uh, and again, if you once you get to suspend, Garmin won't sequence if you're suspended at the last point because there's no place to sequence to. So choose Hertz at the bottom, put it in and choose it, and um, uh, we're going to uh, just simply go direct. 
Um, and in this case, uh, we don't want to fly to Hertz on a 106 anymore. Uh, we want to fly to Hertz on the inbound course, 280. So in this box, we simply tap in 280 and enter and uh, activate, of course. And now on the map, we see that inbound course is uh, drawn here uh, into Hertz. Uh, now, if your wings level go into Hertz, in order to verify or to assure that you're going to cross Hertz and go outbound, I recommend that you switch to the heading mode if you're using an autopilot, which in most cases you would be. And uh, to do that, simply press the heading bug uh, to the lubber line, which is the white line at the top of the CDI, or the EHSI, I should say, and, uh, and then switch to heading on the autopilot. You'll cross the fix, and then to get in the hold is just three simple steps. Cross the fix, turn outbound, stay in the hold space. So just three simple steps, one, two, three cross the fix, turn out, bound, stay in the hold space. Since we're coming straight across from the west, thusly, the hold entry will be parallel, although I dare say you wouldn't need to know that in this, in this instance. So we're just going to simply fly outbound over the inbound course. We know it's right turns because the controller didn't tell us to turn left and right hand is standard. And now, uh, but to enter, we need to make the initial turn to the left and re-enter the inbound course thusly. Now that's going to be accomplished with the heading bug. Uh, and again, I, I know the box is very automated, but what you're going to find is this is the easiest and quickest way uh, to set up the non-published hold. So first write down the artwork, put the fix on there, put the inbound course, draw the remainder of the hold, and simply write down um, the inbound direction, the holding altitude, and the expect further time. And that's it. Once you've, uh, once you've crossed the fix, turned outbound, and we're re-entering here, you can now use the nav mode on the autopilot to complete the navigation to the inbound, on the inbound leg to the fix. Once you reach the fix, though, you're going to need to switch back to heading and make the outbound turn using heading. And that's the non-published old with the Garmin GTN 650. Now, if you have any questions or comments about this presentation, please uh, do not hesitate to contact me. And you may do so at mail, M-A-I-L, at R-W-R pilot training, no spaces. Dot com. This is Dick Rochfort. Fly safely. Train often.